What's up, y'all? In this video, we're gonna talk about natural logarithms. Now, we've already talked about logarithms in another video, but in this one, we're gonna see this thing called natural logarithms. Now, what typically happens in my classes is that when I start bringing out natural logarithms, everyone's hair bursts into flames, they start freaking out. It's really not that serious. And hopefully, I can dispel some of those myths for you. Let's get to it. All right, so natural logarithms. The main difference between natural logarithms and your regular logarithms is that when we've got a regular logarithm, let's say, or a non, I don't know, I don't really want to say a non-natural logarithm, but let's just say a regular logarithm, that we would usually say uh, if we've got a to some power is equal to b, then we could say log base a of b is equal to x. So basically this thing is our base, here is our exponent, and here is our result of taking our base to the exponent, right? That's, that's ultimately, that's what a logarithm is, and we've done that before in our previous videos. Now, the only difference is now we're using this e. e is just another number. It's, it's, it's like pi. Uh, it's an irrational number. It goes on forever. It never repeats. You can discover E in sequences and series. That's often an exercise that we do in a sequences and series unit. Um, but really E is just its own number, right? So when you see E, think of it like pi. It's not a variable. It's a number. So we're saying we've got the number E to some power and that equals a number, right? So then we write the natural logarithm of E of that result is equal to the exponent. So it's it's no different than if we were to say this over here, right? These two things, let's let's line these up. Now I know I used a's uh, differently here, but let's look at the structure of these things, right? Here we've, if we look at the, the basic structure of this, here's our base, here's our base. Here's our exponent, here's our exponent. And here is our result here is our result, right? So there's no difference in it. Uh, it doesn't matter that I'm using A in here uh, differently in these two things. If we look at the structure of how these things are, are built, they're the same thing as the logarithms that you've done before. Here we go, a, a magic erase. All of these rules of natural logarithms are exactly the same thing as over here. Now the only difference is because they're, they, we call them natural logarithms because E happens in nature in this uh, infinite progression that you again talked about in sequences and series. The only difference is that we're using E and that we're using a different notation instead of writing log, we use LN. We use that because E and LN is used more frequently. And as you know, as I like to say, mathematicians tend to be kind of lazy. So instead of writing log base E, we have to write LN base E. Because doing this, writing log is so difficult that we have to write LN instead. So, um, you know, just because of my handwriting, I, I write LN, I tend to write LN like this, you'll see, it's kind of like a cursive L and then an N. But notice all of these things are the same. And notice here also, we've, we've talked about in previous videos, we've got log of five is equal to some number that this thing is assumed to be, to be base 10. We always assume it to be base 10 if we don't write it. Now with natural logarithms, we just always assume it to be base E. So if you see LN and it's the, there's no base written there, just know that it means that there's a base E. Just like when we write log, we know that there's a base 10 assumed. So uh, here with all of these rules, notice I don't put the E in here. I don't put the E in there. I don't put the E in there. I don't put the E in there because I'm lazy. I like to pretend that I'm a mathematician. I am a mathematician, I'm a math teacher, but I'm lazy, so I don't put the E in there. So I'm just gonna write LN of whatever it is because when I see this notation LN, I know that that base is E. Now the other thing that we typically don't do is you typically will not see log base E written like that. If you're gonna use E, you tend to use this notation, not this notation. Okay, a lot of different tangents here, but let's take a look. Here, if we're multiplying two numbers together, we're gonna add those two individual logarithms. Here, if we're multiplying two numbers together, we're gonna add those two natural logarithms. 
Here, if we're dividing, we're going to subtract the logarithms. Here, if we're dividing, we're going to subtract the natural logarithms. And you can see that this progresses for all of our rules of logarithms. So you may want to take a moment and pause this and write this stuff down, but just know that everything that you put over here is the exact same thing that we put over here. We just changed log to ln and base a, which can be interchanged with any number to nothing because it's just assuming to be base e. So, um, you know, again, just to, to, to make sure that we don't confuse things, we can put our e's in there if we want, but all of this is exactly the same. So pause it, make sure you write this down, make sure that you don't get all freaked out by this. If this has been helpful, if this has dispelled some myths for you, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if it has, I will see you in the next video where we go through these very examples. I'll see you there.